All right, today we're going to talk about doing pH calculations, okay? So grab your calculator. Remember, the definition of the pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. This concentration is molarity, okay, moles per liter. Okay, the pOH is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. Again, and molarity. That's what the square brackets mean, molarity. Okay? We have to remember that due to the dissociation of water, for example, the hydrogen ion concentration multiplied by the hydroxide ion concentration is always equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14th molar, okay? which means the pH plus the pOH is going to be 14. All right, so if we are making a table, let's say we, we give you the uh, hydrogen ion concentration, and then we want to solve for the pOH and the hydroxide ion concentration. All right, I'm making a table. If I say, for example, the pH, uh, the hydrogen ion concentration is 3.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right. If I wanted to find the pH, what do I put in my calculator? If I take hydrogen ion concentrations 3.2 times 10 to the negative fifth molar, I type in the log in my calculator. I get negative 4.49. But I take the opposite of negative 4.49, so the pH is 4.49. Okay. Now, what does that mean the pOH is? The pOH is 14 minus 4.49, which is equal to 9.51. What does that mean the hydroxide ion concentration is? The hydroxide ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by the hydrogen ion concentration, 3.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. Which is equal to 3.13 times 10 to the negative 10 molar. Another way that we could do these calculations is, what if I asked you, if I gave you the pH, and ask you for the hydrogen ion concentration. We will we'll go backwards this time, okay? So what if I said, oh gosh, the pH is 9.73. How do I go backwards? Well, what I have to remember is a log is 10 to the x, so 10 to the negative pH equals the hydrogen ion concentration. So on my calculator, I will do 10 to the negative 9.73. When I do that, I will get 1.86 times 10 to the negative 10. Does that make sense? Yes, it does make sense because this is a basic pH, and so this concentration is less than 10 to the minus 7th, which would be neutral. Once again, the pOH is simply 14 minus 9.73, which is going to be 4.27. And once again, to get the hydroxide ion concentration, I can do it this way. I can take 1 times 10 to the minus 14th divided by the hydrogen ion concentration. Another way I can do it is I can realize that the hydroxide concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pOH. Okay, so if I took 10 to the negative 4.27, I should get the same answer as if I took 1, point, 1 times 10 to the minus 14th and divided by this. So the answer for that is going to end up to be um, 5.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, so that's how we can get given any number, pH, pOH, 
hydrogen ion or hydroxide ion concentration, we can go back and forth from one to the other.